of Alaska has one of the highest rates of repeat offenders in the nation, with nearly 60% of convicted criminals returning to prison within three years of being released. It's a statistic a new bipartisan bill is aiming to reduce. Carly Schreck tells us what moves the Department of Corrections will now be required to make before an inmate re-enters society. It's a simple thing that many of us don't even think twice about. So many of these basic things uh, that we need to, to just operate in daily life requires a photo ID. But it could make or break the success of prisoners getting a second chance at life after release, which is why on Saturday, Governor Mike Dunleavy signed SB 119 into law, a piece of legislation that will provide inmates with state-issued identification before re-entering into society. What it does is, it's, is it is going to require the Department of Corrections to make sure that everybody leaving their custody has a photo ID. If they don't have one that they came in with, Department of Corrections will make and issue them one. Beginning January 1st of next year, the bill ensures that IDs issued to prisoners prior to their release will be legally on par with a state ID. The only exception is a restriction on purchasing alcohol. Barb Mongar, who we met earlier this year at the Matt Sue reentry simulation event, says it's a good step toward reducing recidivism rates in Alaska, which, according to a report from the Department of Health, stood at 58% in 2019. They'll be able to get started quicker. Um, they'll be able to possibly get on food stamps if that's what they need. They'll be able to file further uh, medical benefits, Medicaid. Um, they'll be able to, uh, you know, put in for a job even possibly before they get out, and then maybe they'll have something waiting there. According to Senator Robert Myers, who sponsored the bill, the Department of Corrections will use equipment already in place to issue the valid IDs, making it a little-to-no-cost initiative to help those trying to rebuild their lives after lockup. Carly Schreck, Alaska's News Source.